Welcome back to the IBD School Basics Series. This episode, IBD School 103, answers the question, what is IBD? And explains the different forms of inflammatory bowel disease. Inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD, is a disease of long-lasting or chronic inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract. Inflammation is a result of activation of the immune system, and it generally includes five signs of active inflammation, warmth, redness, pain, swelling, and loss of function. In IBD, these symptoms happen in the gastrointestinal tract and cause symptoms in your belly. We refer to IBD as a chronic inflammatory disease because the immune system is abnormally activated and stays activated for months or years. The inflammation can quiet down or become quiescent for a while, but weeks, months, or years later, the inflammation can come back with a big flare of activity and symptoms. It is also chronic because the damage or distortion of the intestine lining is left behind when the intestine heals after a flare and can still be seen under a microscope. Ulcerative colitis causes inflammation in the innermost layer of the colon, the mucosa. Only when ulcerative colitis becomes very severe or toxic does it affect all of the layers of the colon. Unlike Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis only affects the colon and is continuous, meaning that the colon is affected from the rectum, the last part of the colon, and continuously upstream. Ulcerative colitis, or UC, can affect just a short segment of the rectum, further up the sigmoid or left colon, or be more extensive. If UC affects the whole colon, that is often called pancolitis. The symptoms that usually have the most impact on patients with ulcerative colitis are frequent bloody bowel movements containing mucus, the urgent need to have a bowel movement, abdominal pain, tiredness, gas, and weight loss. The bloody bowel movements usually get people to go to a doctor right away and generally lead to a diagnosis more quickly in ulcerative colitis compared to Crohn's disease. About 10% of IBD patients are diagnosed with indeterminate colitis. Indeterminate means that we just can't figure out what kind it is. This is a condition that is clearly a chronic inflammatory disease of the colon, but there is something that suggests that this might be Crohn's rather than just ulcerative colitis. Sometimes that can be segmental inflammation or especially deep ulcers, which can both suggest Crohn's disease. It can be hard to be sure about a diagnosis of Crohn's disease unless it affects the small intestine or goes all the way through the intestinal wall. Two other diagnoses that are not IBD are important to know about. One is acute infectious colitis or acute enteritis. These are due to inflammation of the colon or small intestine that lasts a short time, days or weeks, and then goes away. These are generally due to infections and don't leave any chronic damage behind afterward that can be seen under a microscope. Sometimes people with acute infections of the GI tract are thought to have IBD, but turn out to have just had a bad infection of part of the GI tract. Another diagnosis that is not IBD is IBS, or irritable bowel syndrome. IBS can cause symptoms of pain, diarrhea, or constipation that can look like IBD, but there is no chronic inflammation and damage to the lining of the intestine. However, the abnormalities in IBS and the inflammation in IBD are treated very differently. That's it for this class, and thanks for watching.